Did you know that the world famous Marine Land has been around for eight decades? It is celebrating 80 years of business in June and some very big events are planned throughout the month there at the park, which sits right on the St. Johns County Flagler County line. Now this attraction has a very fascinating history as one of Florida's first major tourist attractions. First Coast News' Jessica Clark explains the attraction, how it turned into something the creators did not imagine. It was originally called Marine Studios. Along a stretch of A1A, Marine Land was just south of St. Augustine. 1938, the park opened for the first time. But initially, it wasn't even an attraction. It was for making movies. But Kevin Roberts with Marine Land says the creators of this underwater studio realized it could be more. They found out after they did their grand opening in June of 1938 and 30,000 people attempted to show up on the tiny A1A. They found out that gave them a good idea that this was something that people were fascinated with, they wanted to see it. These oceans behind glass give visitors a unique look into the lives of a variety of sea creatures. Before then, most aquariums would have one species of mammal, one species of fish, and what have you. This was the first time to put them all together into what they coined the term oceanarium. So this was the world's first oceanarium. Sea turtles, sharks, and of course, performing dolphins were there. The playful and intelligent porpoises are the stars of the show. Marineland was one of the first quote unquote tourist attractions in the state of Florida. And while dolphins were jumping, film cameras were rolling. The Revenge of the Creature was filmed almost entirely on site. There was a Benji movie done here with Benji the dog, Flamingo Rising. And scientists were researching. Also, Marineland was the first place to uh, train dolphins, the first place to breed dolphins, to really study dolphins, and echolocation was first theorized. And now... We don't do the traditional dolphin jumping shows. Uh, what we are now is an interactive facility. People can play and swim with the dolphins. After dealing with bankruptcies and destructive hurricanes. Fresh coat of paint. Marine Land is celebrating its 80th anniversary. And with help from the Georgia Aquarium, it's getting new life breathed into it. But the focus on so many other species uh, besides dolphins. There are sea turtles and sharks now. And after 15 years or so, the original and iconic archway entrance will come out from behind the fence and become the entryway again. And it was sort of the, uh, the birth of the public becoming fascinated with marine life. For the past 80 years, Marine Land was a place people could come face to face with sea creatures. And really start to learn about them and a true appreciation came about because of that. In Marine Land, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side. And this Thursday, the public is invited as Marine Land has a ribbon cutting to reopen that iconic arch entranceway. So it happens at 1140 and mission that day is free. Also, June 8th is World Ocean Day and Marine Land invites you to a beach cleanup, live music and free admission that day as well. And events will take place every Saturday in June to celebrate Marine Land's 80th anniversary. That is a cool place. Took my kids there, got to touch a dolphin. That was awesome. Now